Hey there, folks. Welcome to Stu's Game Reviews live stream. It is Saturday night, almost midnight Eastern time. Sorry for starting a little bit late. Let me start the Twitch stream as well. All right, Twitch is now going. The game tonight, as we played for a bunch of times, is going to be the Silver Case. I have it loaded up here and uh, ready to go. The Gamers Grotto is with us once again to provide his dulcet vocal um, stylings of this game. And uh, I'm sure if you've been here before, you definitely appreciate all those those voices. Um, you know, he tirelessly works to add voice acting to a game that should have one, given that it was released in 2017. I mean, it did come out in 1999 originally, but still. Uh, it's like a visual novel slash adventure game. It's very long. It's very weird. I think we're pretty much close, to, very close to the end. I don't think we're gonna finish it tonight, but we're probably very close. And uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. Um, I can't explain the plot because it makes no sense at all. And if you, if you, you really have to go back and watch it all, so uh, yeah, I can't really explain the plot. But uh, it's. I can't really judge it, honestly, until we get to the end, and you can, like, judge it holistically, but the sort of interim reading is that it's just very, very weird and, and makes no sense in many places, so we'll see what we actually end up with eventually. I... Uh, you know what else? Um, not sure what else. Uh, tomorrow I'll be streaming, hopefully... An Atari 2600 game, which I haven't done in a while, so I'm a little bit overdue for that. So hopefully that will take place tomorrow. And, uh... I got some good ones lately, so... This this one may not be, like, an amazing classic, but it's definitely uh, something interesting. And, uh, I've generally been picking up some, some interesting stuff, so... Got a lot of good stuff for the channel, and, uh, look forward to, to playing it with you folks when, uh, we're all around. Oh, and I'm also working on a video that hopefully will be released on Monday. Uh, it's an interview with uh, a gentleman who's been a longtime collector and was involved in the recent um, thing that's been going on. I don't know if you heard about this alleged counterfeiting slash forgery scam in the PC gaming collecting world. Uh, but uh, it should be a really interesting video. And, uh, I mean, the interview was great. So um, make sure you stay tuned in for that. And hopefully, like I said, that will drop on Monday. I'm debating if I want to like leave it as a big long video because it's close to an hour long or break it up into chunks. I might break it into chunks, um, but I'm not sure if I will or not. I will see. But yeah, it's it's fairly lengthy, but it's it's really really informative and entertaining in my opinion, and uh, I think it'll be good. All right, um, Jeremy from the Gamers Ground, are you back yet by any chance? He went to make a tea, so we get started. If you're here, please you know say hello in the chat and all that. Oh, by the way, happy Father's Day. Um, Father's Day, um, you know, starts in five minutes here in uh, East Coast land. So happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, and happy Father's Day to all the all the people who, who are fathers and don't know it. Um, I'm not gonna. Say, <laughs> I won't name names. I'm just I'm just kidding around. Uh, but happy Happy Father's Day to everybody out there and. Uh, Happy Father's Day to anyone who's who's had a good father, who, uh, who, who or a father figure of some kind who who took care of them and helped them out in their formative years. All right. Well, without further ado, let's get started. I have the same game loaded here somewhere. I'll just continue. So it's, even though it says number five, it's not starting at the beginning. We're in the middle of the episode here. I don't remember what was going on. Um, was I supposed to read the email? Oh, this is the really evil guy. I think we I think we read this last time, actually. Yes, we did. Okay, we read this last time. He was saying he wanted to send us to the smoke shop with the cool old lady. Um, the vending machine is pretty cool too. There's placebo written on it. All right, so I I, sh I should go do what he says. I, we we actually read that last time. We didn't do we didn't listen to him. Got to get out of here.
I guess the door stairway, I don't know. I always like to be the guy out of there. Beyond the door. The heck? We're going to be talking to the vending machine. Hey, how's it going, Jeremy? <laughs> hey. Um, I think we're going to this. What the hell? I guess we got a secret passage? I guess. How did you even know that was there? Uh, the guy, the, the the email told me the, the email you read last last time we played. It was like right before we left. He said go to the smoke shop and there's a vending machine that says placebo on it. I guess we investigated the vending machine and found there's a tunnel. I'm not controlling anything, by the way. I'm just uh, watching. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he's supposed to be walking or an escalator or what. It feels like an escalator. <laughs> the hell? Oh, now it's like, like one of the interactive sequences. Okay. Sort of. Now it's, a, now it's already going by itself again. I had one moment of interactivity. <laughs> the guy that sent me the email was that evil guy. That you did the voice of the evil guy, if you remember. So it was hurting your throat. Yeah. So we have like 30 people on the on the street right now. No, I'm just joking. I think it was zero. Yeah, there's nobody. I just <laughs> I just thought. When I start late, it's, it's it already started at disadvantage. Hey, I only got three people on mine today, so whatever. It's a slow slow weekend. I yeah, think. it seems like it. All right, so what the hell is this? What the hell is that? Uh, I can't implement, I don't have anything, C I can't do, what the hell is to do here, oh, what the hell is this, underground wall? I mean, they do exist. You are in Japan, aren't you? I mean, I wouldn't expect it to be with the way there. Maybe it's abandoned. <laughs> well, it's all well lit. The escalators are moving. It is escalators, apparently. They're moving. There's like the knives at the bottom that chop me up. Anyway, this is the first time I streamed in a long time where there was nobody in the chat, like zero. It really doesn't happen very often. Even always asleep and sleeping. Uh, could be that YouTube hasn't notified anybody. Probably. Are you serious? Do I have to go to another escalator now? Oh, what's this? Who's this dude? It's a kid? Oh, you're the voice actor. Um. Dude. <laughs> you shouldn't go any further than this. It's a trap and the risk is too great. Who are, where is, is this person to stay next to me? I'll go back. I guess. Uh -huh. This can't go on any further. From here on out, it's a different world. Our kind of common sense will be of no use there. 
It's a strange place. What the f... Their mental state is unstable. Probably from Kamui's influence. The guy with the glasses. What the hell was his name? Who was got the glasses? <laughs> oh, Morikawa. I just got a notebook from him. Who's Morikawa? Uh, wasn't he the Aussie guy? I, don't I think you're right, but I'm not sure. Seems like it's an important notebook. If I get a chance, I'll show it to you. Show it to me now, you dumb... What the hell? In the meantime... Well, it seems I know too damn much. <laughs> what does that mean? Now like a bull's gonna appear in his head? It's a long road ahead. If this was real life, I'd be strangling this guy right now. You'd be like, stop with all the cryptic bullshit and time to let you know you still inside of a bitch! Ah! Stu, Stu, settle down. You might get this video banned for children as well. <laughs> Stu, don't die out there. I hope you die. Well, he told me to turn back, but I guess we're supposed to keep going. Tells us. Uh oh. These images you're showing me. I. I never understood anything in this game. So. What's going on here? All these random images are different chapters of the game. I vaguely remember where most of them are in some context. Must be approaching the end game. Oh, thank God. I mean, oh, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not done yet. Another escalator. We're going down the very depths of hell. There's like a sequel to this? I mean, sort of a sequel. There is a sequel, yeah. I mean, how can there be a sequel to this? The sequel should uh, be like you order the game, like it's like physical. Hang on. The sequel should no, be like you on. order the game, it's like physical copies only, and then it comes in the mail, like it looks like a box, we open it up and there's a gun inside, it says, place gun in mouth and pull trigger. That should be like the sequel. I mean, that's why I'm begging. We're gonna shout, I'm gonna get myself banned. Uh, if, uh, if, if, any, if, any, if any kids are watching this, that's not a good thing to do, kids. Don't listen to me ever. <laughs> well, there can't be any kids watching this because your channel has been deemed unsafe for children. Only that one video. Not the whole channel. Apparently, I think. Uh, so. Hold on. Oh, it's, it's her now. I just need more, more images. What are you looking up? What the sequel I'm looking, is? Yeah, I'm looking up the, the name. It's of the called sequel. the 25th Award, I think. Which is the name of the police precinct over here. Yeah, it's I been... think so. It looks like it is, yeah. I've seen it on um, I've seen it on YouTube because I looked it up. I was I just looked it up, uh, wondering. Oh, that sounds like an interesting game name. And then I and then I, as soon as I read in the description as the sequel to the Silver Case, I was like, okay, I'm never gonna buy. This. No, no. I just fucking, What's I just this? fucking shut him. Pla I'm on a tr tr our subway platform now. Thanatos. The graphics look the exact same as this, by the way. The sequel it looks like identical to this. There's no difference. I mean, I just flew across the subway tracks. What's going on? Where oh, is that guy? It's the Ozzy Osbourne guy, right? I don't know. I Everybody so. wears glasses. Is, is that him talking or? No, he's talking. He's talking. That's pretty deep. <sighs> During the redevelopment twenty years ago, there was something made in top secret. 
Oh, Stu, you made it here in one piece. So who is talking to that? <laughs> this will be our last meeting. From now on, the war is on. And I really wanted to get my lost will in testament out. Tetsu and Shizura are both gone. Stu, you're about the only one left. Will you hear me out? Do you choose? No. It's a pseudo figure one game. You're, ne you're never have a choice. This what, amazing, what, what, inter amazing interactive, amazing interactive game where you just press the up wait, wait, arrow. What, what was just going on? Was I like on a train? Like I was moving forward into the tunnel. I don't know what just happened. Maybe you're on an acid trip. You're in front of Ozzy. <laughs> you might be. <laughs> Listen, Stu. You have to find Kamui. I thought Kamui didn't exist. You're on a train. Yeah, I can hear. The, I can hear the noise of the train. Don't get distracted by the chaos. Search out the truth with your mind's eye. And if you come to know the silver case, read my notebook. Oh, crap. I know you can do it. Look at that amazing graphic of a train. <laughs> Wants to get out of the train? Special train. Can you like drive the train and crash it into something so we can Maze kill off you that four? Bridge? You want to kill Stu? No. Well, How do they know your name is Stu, by the way? How do they know your name is Stu? Uh, psychic abilities. It's it's Suda fifty one. <laughs> he's able to he's able to jack into your it's mind. Just a coincidence. Oh gosh, there's a head of that guy at the very beginning. I think. How do they know called Stu? Seriously, like it's amazing. This guy, is that Tetsu, I think. The Italian dude? Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't know. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> this is the game where I specifically have no idea what the fuck is going on every time we play I'm it. I'm on special train. You're on the special train? That's what it said, special train. Well... I guess I decided to sit down. Just relax. Enjoy the ride to hell. To hell? Enjoy this amazing Suda 51 game where all you do is press the up arrow. <laughs> it's a world of interactivity. What's going on here? I can't see anything. Undeveloped area. But like the rest of the game? <laughs> Hachi Sucker Park. <laughs> Hachisuka. I don't know Hachisuka, but I like saying Hachisuka. Sucker. I gotta get you, sucker. Yeah. This game sucker. <laughs> this game sucks up. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's, it's, I, I'm still, you know how little like of the screen actually is, is the game? Like, look, look how much screen real estate is not used. Yeah, all the rest of the numbers, screen is just numbers. Yeah. And those dumb things at the top, I mean like... Absolutely fantastic. Trade dog? Does it say trade not dog? What things that are called. Transmitter. Yeah. We're still moving apparently. Here comes the train. So far, I'm thoroughly impressed. I don't know what's going on at all. I don't know. Don't ask me. You're the one playing. <laughs> I'm not playing well, anything. I'm just I mean, watching. I mean, I mean, quote playing, <laughs> hand quote playing. So now the train. This is going to rotate the train or something. Yes, but those things are not called train dogs, though. I don't know what the fuck Japan. <laughs> it's a train dog. I never heard of that either. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 
They don't move. They don't move. They don't move that slow in real life. You'd be, you'd be, you'd be st sitting there for like half an hour if that were the case. Just trying to keep you in suspense. Suda Fifty One's like, oh, what's gonna be over there? Oh, it stopped. Actually, what? It didn't even light it up. Line it up to some other track. I didn't see it. Other track. You realize that there's two sides. I know, but I thought, but I thought it was like parallel. I was not. I don't know. What was the point I, of that? It could just be a straight. St oh, now we've arrived at the holodeck. The mass prod oh. center. It says on top. Mass prod center. Mass production Production's center. <laughs> no, mass prod center. <laughs> yes. like, they prod yeah. you with like a cow prod. I mean, that's more enjoyable than this. <laughs> Let's be honest. I finally, with the so end. Far, so far, the silver case has become the silver train simulator. Well, if we actually got to control the train, it would be nice. We, we, right? we, we go. Yeah. Last station. Thank shit. Mass prod center. Center. He's getting up. This is me in real life. I like. I already have like completely expelled the contents of my bowels. I can't get out. You go forward. That's why the green thing is there. Well, the green thing is to show you all the different places you can go, but not meant to be exhaustive necessarily. I can't. Get, I can't go back through there either. Where did I go off here? What the hell? That's a woman. It's Hachisuka. Is it? What? That's a girl. I know, without the glasses. It's the same woman, you think. Don't, make, don't, don't make such a strange face. Why am I here? I bet you're surprised, right? I'm here to get rid of the humans that are in the way. What? Stu, are you going to get in the way? No, I'm not getting in the way. If so, I guess I guess I have to get rid of you, but... But... Killing humans who don't die isn't much fun. You can't kill me because I'm outside the simulation. They always asleep. We were talking about you. Best game ever, man. It's always asleep. We are wondering how... how there's, there's, there's completely nobody here. Even you weren't here. <laughs> It must be the child's taking a new low. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? You don't understand? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, have you seen Kusabi? I have to kill that guy. I thought I saw him get on the train earlier, so I was going to ambush him here, but then I would have shot you, Stu. That was very dangerous. Are you here to turn people into murderers? What? What am I saying? We're ready murderers, aren't we? Heart. But I really did love Morikawa. Go ahead, shoot. Is that me? Who uh, shot I... Who shot her? Did I shoot her or did Kamui shoot her? Well, well, I didn't want to shoot her. Oh, she shot her. The other girl. I came after you because I was worried. Let's go, Stu. Okay. Every time uh, you you do female voices, I'm reminded of uh, Flying Circus. <laughs> it's the same. I never said I was good at it. Harakiri Bag Center Beasts. Tell now I just want you to do. Now I just want you to do a female voice with the British accent. You'll fit right in with Monty Python. <laughs> Who's that? That's the Donald Trump guy. Is it okay? Oh, watch this now. <laughs> to be called on by such an unusual person. The situation must have taken a turn for the better. I'd be happier if I had some reward or something, but anyway, how goes it? Man, nobleman, Morichikawa, 
Nakatagawa of the Frontier Faction. It's a, it's, 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 I think that's Jalo. No oh God. You know your stuff. That'll shorten your lifespan, you know. I think it's him anyway. I don't know. I'll do the best I can here. <laughs> Once you know too much. Well, knowing is a lot. No, no, I, it's Trump. Well, knowing is a lot. Knowing a lot is how I pay the rent. At Bar Lago. Yeah. My golf course visits, you know, the whole getting caboodle. Besides, the people are the ones who fade off of affairs, scandals, and rumors, no matter their age or sex. I'm not wrong, am I? You're always wrong. <laughs> you are not even but close to being youthful. Depending on what happens today, I may dispose of you. <laughs> Understand? No sense of excitement, huh? If you tell me that from the get-go, that then it's just no fun, is it? I've never been one for melodrama. Let's just hurry this up. What a liar. He talks so freaking much. What could die? Big one. He was already talking. You're a troll, right? That's TRO. Was I? Maybe? Wait a sec. Just kidding, just kidding. What did Kasabi and the no, rest go? Yeah, and did Kasabi and the rest go? I know you know. You know. God. This is really I bad. Did. Yes. I mean, we don't, we don't know what's going on. Like, what happened? We were just in the other. We were just like underground. So how do we get to this cutscene now? Whatever. It'll all be explained, I'm sure. <laughs> It went to your guy's head. That familiar place where 20 years were spent in silence. <laughs> but why did Kasabi know about... Always asleep said, I'm adding this to my Cure for Insomnia playlist. We sleeping good tonight. <laughs> yeah. Morikawa, was it? The guy who went off ahead. Morikawa? Uh, Morikawa? Thanks. Well, I guess I could go, huh? That won't work. I thought so. Why does this guy always hang out by the batting cages anyway? Like, I understand. In, in most cases, I'd be good. Well? Uh, oh, oh, I didn't even see the text on the side. Yes. Because <laughs> it was normally in the middle. Did you just switch it off to the side now? It's like, what the fuck? Can you pull the trigger? Don't worry. You're my 21st. <laughs> you keep count? Yeah, you, you keep count? I'm very method methodical. I'm very methodical. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> it's so stupid. The writing is fantastic. Is that something you share by yourself? Get like my penis? Methodical. I've got a very methodical penis. Sorry. <laughs> Show off your strong point. Oh god, that sounds terrible <laughs> after I said that. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, that's the key to fix that. Oh my god. Somebody tried to kill him once before already and it didn't, it didn't uh, work. 
Just like everyone says, quite the eccentric. I don't want to hear that from you. A creep who feeds on the life of young women. What else are you talking about? We just. <laughs> are you talking to yourself? I know all about that. Talk to me. <laughs> Ayami Mothbro stole that little girl's future away from her. <coughs> An enemy of women is also my enemy. Oh my God. So you're a feminist? Just shoot already. I'm the secretary for the International <laughs> Feminist Confederation. That was a freaking rhetorical question. Seriously? No. Either way, I cannot. For Either way, I cannot forgive you for that. I picked the wrong target. Huh? Shoot him! In this case, there is no troll, CTO, or SSO. There was no border between adversaries and allies twenty years ago. You could call it an illusion. Things like factions have no specific shape. You just buy a person's will with money. The revolutionary patriots that came before us are just old men now. These old man, <laughs> these old man, these old man feed on empty theories. We're losing pieces to this game. Losing pieces of my brand. Yeah, I'm, I've been there. <laughs> and that is why we should take away their wealth. What are you saying? That there was a traitor? I didn't hear him say that. That's why Ayame knew. Oh, wait, I, I was using the wrong voice, I just remembered. I, you I, still don't get it. I don't get it. Confused with the voice already. That's so. I just kill him, please. I know. There are no traitors. Then. I am a Mothro code name Elbow. I swore the draft. And I signed it. It can't be. I told you before. You're quite slow on the uptake, aren't you? There is no TRO, no FCCO, and no FSO. From the very beginning, there was no faction. It's all part of one big picture, a one big group. If you hadn't planned Project Elbow, then there would have been nothing to carry out. But that was Project Elbow. I don't know. It's about as, as wonderful a name as the Cracker in the James Bond game you've played. <laughs> and that is what pisses me off. You were behind it all? It was? Okay. Me? I'm just another pawn. Stu is the guy in charge. Someone else is at the top. Then... Then who... Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> then who is it? Thank God. 
I'm tired of the walking. Do you have any last words? I wish Gabberish. What happened? One of them killed the other one. They both killed each other. Who's saying that? I don't know. It's too late, baby. Now it's too late. You can read it then. Yeah. I guess. What? I guess Trump is still alive. Who's this guy? Is all this idiot story true? Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. <laughs> Chief. Uh, I guess Trump got the jump on Jallo. Most of it, probably. These people only know your fish and the leader's fish. I don't know who else they're moving around. They're fighting. But in the file, the tech faction, it's civic faction. Who is that guy supposed to be? Is that supposed to be Stu? No, I don't know who that is. I'm just using, I'm just doing a voice for him. I don't know. Don't fall for what you see in a fire. Do I do a different voice? I'll do a different voice. Go ahead. Formal records and official announcements, they're all one big trick. Forgeries and fake evidence are par for the course. So now what? These guys are just... New worker bees. The type of people that can't continue living without someone to fight against. Chief, what do we do next? You're going after the silver keys, right? No one cares for your opinion on this. So don't do anything stupid. Let me handle it. Next is Kusabi, right? Right? He's connected to the Silver Keys, isn't he? Who else is there? Shut up, kid. You see, I think you shot that guy too. Look at dead body right next to his feet now. You see that? Do you see that? Who's that? He just killed uh, the guy who was talking to him. He said, shut up, yeah. kid, and then he shot him. This is the same guy. Donald Trump's still talking. Dead you, I'm leaving it up to you. Meanwhile, we're still here. Let's move in. Move in where? I don't think she meant it as in let's move into an apartment. <laughs> I don't think she meant that either, but it's sort of funny though. Twenty no, years. The way you said it. <laughs> the may, way you said it was let's move in, as if, as if it was a suggestion. She meant let's move in, as in like for cops. Yes, yes, yes. Let's move in. I was trying to hear her voice like a, a certain way. Twenty years ago, human testing projects took place in the shelter environment here. The government created the new International Environment Agency as a scapegoat. One part of that generation raised the flag to the cultivation of the new human. The International Environmental Agency. To most, they seem to be working for the protection of nature and the environment, but they're also working to improve the human condition. That is to say, they wanted to improve the lives of those living in the wards. But below the surface, they were removing ward residents who were deemed unsuitable. After checking for ward residents with a high propensity for criminal behavior, they would turn these people into data, search them out, and slowly take over. This unbelievable plan was executed over the course- How do you know this crap? Over the course of 20 years. Those living within the 24 wards right now are its most suitable residents. 
the instrument necessary in the prevention of crime in the 24 wards is the heinous crimes unit. Stu is a member. I, I, I'm Stu. Are you talking to me? Can I, can, I, can I just say the only heinous crime I've seen so far is this game. My voice acting? <coughs> no, I said the game. I know. <laughs> the special forces unit my father supervised was another part. The goal of this agency was to dispose of negative elements. An experiment that was used to assert absolute control of the 24 wards. And they were not only involved in elimination, they also had a hand in raising and educating kids. That was the shelter kids policy. The location we're heading to now is ground zero for this entire operation. This is where most of the children live until they're released out into society. In the last four years of this plan, 1,440 children have been released out into various ways of life. They live normal lives while being controlled. Oh my god. They live at the central organization while being controlled. You said that already. They're used as samples that go from being controlled to being set free, where they control their lives on their own. For some of them, their names are erased and they're assigned to the special forces. They're placed under the control of the central PD. All memories of their past are erased. It's different than the goal for Kamui. These samples are for the research and development of criminal power. It's a tragedy. To control life like that, making Kamui believe he's something to live for, when actually there's nothing. What? I don't know. That's you, Stu. Oh, oh my gosh. You're a human that's been manufactured. Oh my god, that's such a revelation. Kamui doesn't exist with the realities of the residents. He's a manufactured human, like yourself. If you were precise, you were Kamui too. What? The stock for Kamui and the shelter kids. Even if Kamui is destroyed, Kamui's life isn't over. There are plenty left to inherit his legacy. Even if all the stock is destroyed, Kamui will disappear. The next generation of stock is born, and Kamui will be reborn. Not only Kamui, there is another policy in effect. Kamui is the male stock unit. There's a female unit that exists as well. Ayami Maspero. That's right. The Ayami still murder that confirmed Kamui, confined Kamui is Ayami. That girl is a sample of Ayami. There's stock of 1,440 girls. The three women she killed were also Ayami. The Chizuru who I killed was also Ayami. She serves my father as Major Hachisaka's game code. And as the first subject of this experiment. And I too will... Oh my god. Do you understand anything that's going on? Oh, we see. Oh my God! And they're actually just trying to explain something. I, mean, I think I understood what they said. It just, it was, it just was ridiculous. Hey, Miami Sunrise, you're late, but yeah, I mean, this game you never can be late. This is our hometown. We don't have memories of this place, but we spent about four years living here. Four years after you guys were sent out as the Kamui generation, the Ayami generation was sent in here. My father told me, you will probably be killed by the ones raised here. It seems my father wanted Ayami to kill. And so that's how things became, what they are. The top of the shelter is a TV tower. It overlooks all the 24 wards, a tough tower. The ones with all the power created as a symbol of control. If you open that path, the shelter is the key. It's like a video game, you know? In some ways, it does resemble a game. Yeah, this like this. This in some ways does resemble a game, but not not much. By bearing the responsibility to natural an unnatural upbringing, that itself becomes a game. From here on, please continue alone, K Kamui. Okay. I'll give you a I'll give you a Kamui. <laughs> Best game, whatever. What a trip. Only three uh. percent game. Yeah, right. Exactly. I give this game a solid. Five hamburgers. Gotcha, point. What the hell? Control panel one, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like bowling. Oh, I just I can jump from one tower to the next. 
Triangle Tower Ted. How is it where we're supposed to go? Can I go back? I think that's how. Right, let's keep moving. I don't want to escape. Oh, you can't. Oh, what's this? Okay. Speed, diamond, heart. Club, speed, diamond. 5 equals 7 plus 3 minus 9 plus 4. Um, that's not... I guess that is true. Um, 5 is, I think, in the middle. What does that mean? Diamond is 3. You with me, Gamer's Grotto? Yeah, I don't. I have no idea what the hell's going on. I'm not. Speed. Can that guy do this here? <coughs> um, this part seems like it could be part of a game. It's, I mean, that equation is true. Seven plus three is ten. Minus nine is one. Plus four is five. <sighs> but uh, three is diamond. Four is cl club. I mean, three is diamond. Four is club. <laughs> Growing close speed. I don't. I don't know what this means. And you think it was some kind of tr like pattern or something, but it's only it's only going to certain ones here. And I can't, like, um, do anything with these numbers, as far as I can tell. Okay, I can't escape either. I thought it was on exit. Where's my arrow? Uh-oh. Okay, exit's escape. So that should be sure everything again, okay. Go to five. I mean, how would I know where to go? Actually, I want to, I want to see something. Actually, can I leave there completely and not even go there at all? No. Okay, move. It's not letting me. It doesn't let me move. I can't. Once I'm here, I can't do anything else. Apparently. So I gotta go this way, alright. Could save the game. What the hell is this? What's going on here? <coughs> Does it go up like over the top or something? Point of this. Call me Gamers Rado. I don't fucking know what's going on. Okay, these rooms I can go into. There was something like this in the, in the beginning of the game, too. What? Number 87 is reported to have a mistake in their bet and their check by the administrator. So let's be tested again. The data should be gathered and fixed. So we request to say the new data should be sure tomorrow night. All the administrator responsible has been processed. That's literally all that was here. Okay. 
I can't go back. All these rooms that didn't have anything like that, I thought. Just this one here. Okay, why is that here too? Ocular response superior, ocular response strengthens. Well, this is unknown. I just don't get what's going on here. And this one has nothing, it's a different kind of thing. What about the other triangle? So, like, there, there's, there's no, a bunch. Only if there's like a hexagon, is there some kind of interactivity going on? It's mm -hmm. like the first bunch of rooms I walked into, there wasn't anything. I figured there wasn't any of them. And this one here really is a triangle, with no hexagon. You can't interact with the triangles. Nope. Can you interact with triangles? I'm getting tired again. What's this one here? What's the position of the ocular response? I mean, I was, I'm confused. You know Hang on one second, I'll be right back. What are you guys saying? <laughs> they give me just one drug in the game. They have this game on. It has to be several. At least 50. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. I, is, is there, this is like a puzzle here, though, because... What was this? I was just saying the ocular, whatever. Yeah. Dude, the entire game is a puzzle on my sanity. <laughs> right now, it seems like a puzzle, doesn't it? Like, I'm walking around. Like game... This is a game I wouldn't even recommend to my worst enemy. <laughs> like, this is bad. I know, like, this is, it really is bad, but like... How do I, how do I so get out of here? I, I have a question for you, off topic. Yeah? Uh, your your copy of Shredder's Revenge, did you get it for PC? Did yeah, for I did, PC? I got the PC one. Okay, so when you get it, I put, I'm hoping you're planning on live streaming. Yeah, well, it may not be like for about a hundred years. I don't know where they're following if we can set it to me. We'll see. Uh, well, when you get it and you live stream it, let me know. I'll join you. We'll do like a two-player. Okay, for sure. Yeah. 
Because you're going to need more than one player. To no, it's doing something different. Now it's blinking a bunch of times. Was it, was it before? So do you have to remember the pattern, maybe? Maybe. Who is seven? Oh, it's, it's club, spade, diamond, and... Uh... Yeah, you have to remember the pattern. That's what it is. Go back to it. No, it was, it was seven now. It's at tower seven. I don't know. This is, uh... This is something... <laughs> the hell is this? My sticker books will be collected. There you go. Fantastic. Go get your sticker book. Maybe it'll end this hell. <laughs> I don't think so. Abelo 7, you forgot your sticker book. Okay. I used to think David Cage, Cage made nonsense games, but now I'm beginning to see that he's probably the most sane one here in Pursuit of 51. <laughs> this is just mind-bogglingly bad. Wait, there's something there. Uh huh. What's this? A dead guy. You found a dead guy. Yeah, it's a guy who it's a guy who was also trying to find his way out of this fucking hell. Probably was that probably important though. He yeah, couldn't he sh find he shot his sticker himself. book, so he he couldn't find his sticker book, so he couldn't leave. He shot himself eventually. Yeah, just like I'm about to do. So what up? Collect all cards with the color specified by the teacher. Let's finish get a sticker for the teacher. Okay. What's the freaking color? Okay, so I found a dead body. We have to leave now. Nothing, nothing else to do, so we'll leave. Hopefully, this is what I'm supposed to do. See if anything changed on that stupid thing. It's like literally pussy up, right? You said before. Pressing up. Okay. See that now that one's not beeping three times anymore. The first one, like we we beat it. Now I have to go to the three. Well, I do understand that puzzle, because I sure as hell don't. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's very logical, but I'm just trying to do my best to, to like follow along here. You know, become like an idiot. Are you literally just having your dinner now? Not dinner, I was eating like candy. No. 
tired. I'm trying to like, stay awake. <laughs> Baby, it's not gonna help you stay awake. I know, it helps only for like half a second. <laughs> it does help, but not for very long. <laughs> Two seconds from now, he'll be passed out at his keyboard. <laughs> Well, that'll be entertaining, won't it? <laughs> that would still be more entertaining than this game if you just passed out at your keyboard. <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Find the blocks I... that fit to the holes of the panel, that fit to all the holes. Oh, God. What kind of weird, weird teachers do they have at this place? The fact that this is supposed to be a school tells me that Suda 51 probably has never been to school. <laughs> Those looking for eyeball removal surgery as possible, not out of nine people. All are thought to be out there able to go to go the surgery. That's great. I, I want to get eyeball surgery, eyeball removal surgery, don't you? I can't go to these red doors. Only the other, only the blue doors. <laughs> okay, there's the other thing. Maybe another dead body. Yep, another dead body. All right, we found another dead body. But let's continue. To, I mean, I may be able to just leave at this point. But we're almost at the top, and I don't want to take a chance that there's something else I have to do. So let me just go to the other rooms. even get what the point of this all is like it, it doesn't make any sense to me well okay so the, the last info dump that we got basically said that this is a facility where they're essentially cloning people and i have been cloned and kamui is also a clone and they keep making more kamui's they keep making more ayami's the girl that killed him in the first episode and kidnapped him originally and uh these are more people that are shot they're probably all clones this became like a Blade Runner type game or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, not a very good version of Blade Runner. <laughs> Speaking of Blade Runner, when is that remake supposed to be coming out? Like, shit. The movie or the, or the game? The game came no, out. The, the game, the, the game, the Blade Runner remake from the, from the, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Blizzard. Was it Blizzard? Well, it was Westwood originally. I don't know which which Westwood, company. Westwood you know. Westwood Studios. Westwood Studios. That's it. Yeah. So they're doing a remake of that. Yeah, cool. That game. I'm looking you forward to it. Didn't know about that? No, I heard about it. I'm looking forward to it, but I don't know what it's coming well, out. Yeah, I think it's been delayed indefinitely. I'm gonna look that up while you have fun with this amazing. <laughs> All right. So now I gotta go to. Excuse me. Uh, to die. Wait a minute. It's coming out this month. I didn't see. Was there was there orders for that yet, Miami Sunrise? I didn't see that. Blade Runner Enhanced Edition reveals release date June twenty third, twenty twenty two. Across all major digital storefronts, the game will be priced at ten dollars. What? And the Nintendo Switch file size is already confirmed to be 3.7 gigabytes. It could be only $10. Because they probably didn't enhance it that well. I, I, there's a video of the enhancements. I want to take a look at this quickly. This doesn't look like it's really enhanced. So they're testing people for eye, eye, like borgify, borgification or something. They're testing these various clones, it seems like. It was a school, but it's a school for clones. And they wipe their memories afterwards. They don't really try to teach them very, very much stuff. It's just like, you know, bare minimum. It's that they haven't... Oh, I see. That's all they did. Okay. That's all they did. So they, enhan they enhanced the... All they did was enhance the graphics so that it's less pixelated. It's 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 running at six uh, 4K. That's it. Yeah. 
and everything else is the exact same as the original Blade Runner game. So do I. That's why it's only nine dollars. Right. Why did it? Why did it take them four years to just fix pixels on a game? <laughs> Show a picture you like in runs, the sketchbook. Keep drawing runs at sticker. sixty. Runs at sixty frames per second. Modern gamepad support, anisotropic texture filtering, and SMAA anti-aliasing. PS4 Pro and Xbox One X right, versions. There's another dead be body cool. here. There's another dead body. That's like next week. 23rd. That's literally this Thursday. How did I not hear about this? Yeah, maybe Sunrise. A lot of people like that Blade Runner game. I think that's what, why they're remastering, I guess. Yeah, no, uh, the yeah, the remaster is yeah, the remaster of that classic. I have the original on PC still. Um, the remake is going to be 60 frames per second, 4K, um, and it's going to be on every major platform. So Switch, PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. And it's ten bucks apparently. Well, for you guys, that's probably American funds. For me, it's probably going to be about fucking twenty bucks because Canada always gets stiff like that. Well, twenty bucks is like worth like five bucks here. I'm just kidding. It used to be, I mean, American dollars like really like go to crap. So now, if, when Americans come here and they have American funds, they they usually are billionaires <laughs> in Canada. No, not Let's really. Be on it. It's pretty pretty close. It's, your, your money is worth a lot more here than our money is there. Our money is like two cents there. Alright. One, two, three. Just need to go to number four now. But yeah, no, I agree with Miami Sunrise. The original Blade Runner game was awesome. Be nice to play it again in 60 frames per second. I'm definitely gonna grab that. I, 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 I'll probably live stream that one because that was a good game. There's lots of like ten different endings or something like that. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't say ten, but it it had at least five. Nobody tested ocular responses, but the 20 people from ocular should be possible. Very focused on these eye implants, apparently. Oops. That is strange, though, that they didn't give any, like... File examinations. Okay. How old is that, that information? 16 hours ago. Okay, so this is... This was just announced today. That's why you never heard of it. Cool. You can get a physical edition of the game. After the teacher's signal, all electricity will go out. If it returns, do not speak or make a sound. Once the lights are back on, get a signal from the teacher. The ministry is golden change. The teacher time and change from 8 hours to 14 hours. We shut the electricity off for 14 hours, and all the kids are supposed to be quiet at all time. That's insane. This is a really great school for sure. Class will be changed. Okay, I can see their dead body. Ah, here it is. Alright. 
る。Let's get the hell out of here. Hopefully, this is close to the end. I didn't sleep well last night, unfortunately. So I'm pretty tired. But all your voice acting characters are all dead, I think. <laughs> oh, what a shame. <laughs> Except for Shatner, we still haven't figured out what happened to him. He was beamed aboard the Enterprise. I know, I think we're still going to see him in the, in the, in the chapter. He had, to, he, had to, he had to go back to Scotty <laughs> to help him save the whales. All right, no. Oh, okay. Sorry, no way. There we go. Card. I have to go to the middle on five. this huh is this, is this the, uh, the, the the Italian guy um I don't know I, I guess so he looks like he has a cigarette well he's talking so this world was engraved in Camus mind this is a 20 year curse that honored him. But that's normal. As far as this unbelievable story is concerned, besides, you're no idiot. Actually, I am an idiot. I'm here watching this. Um, I think I think we're all idiots for watching it. Yeah. <laughs> but real people, forced to live in a place like this. It's unnerving knowing that someone could get used to it. But living in a strange place like 24 wards. And to be surrounded by those weird environments. Places like this aren't so far-fetched. I mean, really. To call this underworld a huge crime has nothing to do with this actual place. The problem is the business of the organization. But, seeing these things have turned out like this, if you would ask me, what's the point of the work I do? I wouldn't feel better. More like... Same. At, at peace, I guess. Like how you feel when a cool breeze flows by. It's a pleasure feeling. Pleasure. A pleasant. Hey, <laughs> stop correcting me. <laughs> <laughs> at least for all guys like me. I don't have a fire to fuel my anger. Just putting on this carefree front is a natural way of it. Well, if you would ask, what we what do we do now? We find our enemy and we take him out. Look at the, the dead bodies of these murderers. These guys were residents, and and now they've died in the place that they once called home. This is the end of the road for this stock. I guess you could call it a safety measure. These zombies are un unnecessary when going from one camel to the next. And what do you think would happen if you were to kill them? Huh? There would be no buffer when going to the next camel. There would be nothing. What are you talking about? There would just be fewer Camberwitches. Every time a new Camberwit appears, there should always be something akin to a ceremonial custom. I'm falling asleep. You're falling asleep? <laughs> yeah, keep going. Enormous amounts of information must be sent out. 
to the extent of whatever the communication method can handle. And that's not a simple process. We're talking about getting an injection of a very complex source. And that's why the next gambler would come in. Oh, to look educated, I see. And those Trump guys are the god dogs. They're the ones who protect Gamboy. And that's why I killed them. So that they wouldn't get in the way. I have to meet the next Gamboy. I want him to show himself before me. I want to be face to face with Gamboy. <laughs> Always oh, he says, come on, Stu, rest your eyes. It would feel so nice. <laughs> He's right. It would. Glad you could make it, Camelie. What? Is he talking to you? I don't think so. Elevator? Could be talking to me. I don't know. I <laughs> like, I, don't know, I, don't know, I got nothing. This thing's upside hey, down. Wait, you carry me upside down? Who's that? Is it him? No, I, I don't think no, so. No, it's a guy with a mustache. I don't know who the fuck that is. Maybe it's me? This place was created for fun by the elder members. It's a symbol of political power. It took in large amounts of tainted money. It was like a luxurious elderly home. And then 20 years ago, the silver case occurred in the very same location, and it was carried out by a hitman called Kamui. This Kamui was the original form of... Oh, you talking now. This Kamui was the original form of Kamui. The perpetrator, Kamui Ehara. He was called the format Kamui. He was the trump god of the FSO, Frontier Conservative Party. Do you think there's any co like correlation here between like Trump and like conservative party and there's a coincidence? What do you think? I don't really, This game was made before Trump shit. Well, he, there, but there was remade in 2017. Oh, well, who knows? It's pseudo 51, so maybe. He went to the radical DRO and CEO, CCO, Tax Civic Reform Alliance. Where all their most important leaders gathered. He snuck into the TV tower all along and killed every. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> Come on. Show me some fucking respect, huh? He said he killed every one of the elders. A high powered pistol in the chant. He just stood there in a river of blood. And so, I shot and killed them. A horror didn't put up any kind of resistance. He just. Smile. That is a silver case. The only ones that know the truth are me, the old man, and Munikata. You killed the old man. Just us three. The man knows, known as Kamui Ahara, was real. But, but his birth record wasn't even on the government's host. <laughs> Always sleep says, I'm on the edge of my seat here. Will Stu fall asleep on stream or not? <laughs> that's that's the thing. We should have a vote. We should have a <laughs> Will Stu manage to make it through? Only time will tell. <laughs> Hold on, I get more soda. I'll be right back. One second, I'm sorry. It's okay. We are now taking votes on how long before Stu falls asleep or pretends <laughs> that he's having a seizure. Some Sudafed. This is why I don't play Suda51 games. This exact reason. Every single one of his games are crazy as far as I'm concerned. There's just... Too nutty for me. Well, I'm gonna, since I have the power, I'm gonna add this link to the public chat so you guys can see. 
There is the link for uh, the release date for the Blade Runner game. My Abby said, "Why is gonna have to take some pseudo fed <laughs> to heal from this game experience?" Always, oh, I love pseudo, but this she was too rambling. Yeah, it's always the, the entire game is rambling. All right, here we go. All right, uh, give me a sec here. Let me. Uh, I was on the uh, chat. Maybe. O'Hara was never human after all. That's what I've been thinking recently. But I don't understand. Silver was never made public. After that case, the TV tower was closed. It became a tower run completely by computers. No people. Simply put, it was changed into a relay tower. You going up there? The young folks were excited. Like it was some kind of fate spot. We going up to the top of the tower? I don't know. <laughs> I do. I do not know. That seems yeah, like sure. Yeah. She's gonna throw me off at the top of the tower. Nice knowing you, Stu. Get get out of here. <laughs> I didn't realize my character was Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> nice knowing you. That's all I got, Oscar. <laughs> hey, you I'm turkey! Get out of here, you <laughs> turkey! <laughs> <laughs> You know that he based that voice off of a New York City cab driver? Really? Yeah. Uh, Carol Carol Spinney was the voice of Oscar the Grouch and Big Bird. Yeah. Fun, fun facts. He just died recently. How, uh, yeah, not that long ago, yeah. However, there was one door I couldn't open. I shot it, but it never budged an inch. He didn't seem to mind at all. What the fuck was that? Well, I'm sure I'll understand soon. Yep, QE Tower, top floor. Rooftop graveyard. Graveyard. A graveyard filled with the elderly. Can we? There's no going back. Am I Cavalry? I'm confused. Another puzzle. It seems like a puzzle, doesn't it? Nothing happens. Nothing happens. That Star Trek 20th anniversary game. Yeah, Nothing uh, happens. Or like a uh, like a, a Sierra game. Spock, see you can sabotage the transporters. Nothing Dude. happens. Yeah, but sabotage the transporters too. Please. Is this something Please. with these pictures? My favorite is that uh, you pick it up and place it in your purse. <laughs> um, so what's to do something with this pattern here? It's like a question mark. It looks like a robot. I don't know. These these all have shit on them too. You know, there's, there's actually a number too. Nine and eight, ten. They're numbered. Well, I guess you look for the one that has. Uh, this one doesn't have a number, does it? Oh, it's a seven. Seven. Is it a seven? That's a seven. I think so.
That was seven, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But I'm trying to put the all different numbers, I think. I'm trying to see. See, this one's just one. What's that? Is that a three, a five? Anybody, anybody, anybody can tell? That's a five. That's a three. They look different, don't they? What, what number is this? A nine? What the hell number is this? Hey, Gamer's Grotto, what number is this? You fall asleep, dude? No, my vision is terrible. I I, I don't know. That looks like a... a it's, it's either a five or a nine. It's hard to tell. It's very blurry. Can you not zoom in more? No. <laughs> Matter of fact, I can't. Fantastic game development work here. It could be a nine. Let's just make them, let's just make them squint at a number. It's, pro it's probably a nine, but I'm not sure. This one is an eight. Is it, or is it a nine? I know that. Yeah, that looks like an eight. It's the numbers that are f flinging around at the bottom up there. Guaranteed. Yeah, I don't know. What is the point of this, though? You, you can't even interact with anyone. Something appears even... to have been set. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Oh. You, you, you're just not as smart as I am, that's all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is seven. Well, I mean... I think that's I, seven. I, I, I think I am pretty smart, because I would never play this game. It <laughs> automatically makes me smarter than you. <laughs> Let's be fair. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Best game ever, man. That's definitely a one. Yeah. Well, I'll be live streaming uh, Detroit Become Human tomorrow. Is that, is that better than this? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th I think so. <laughs> Uh, it's not a bad game. It's, it's long, but it's not bad. The only question is, what's this last number? Is it, in fact, a 9, like you thought it was? I hope it's a 9. <laughs> well, just try a 9. If that doesn't work, try 5. Yeah, but it might, like, maybe reset the whole thing or something. I, maybe. Let's just do 9. I'm pretty sure it's not a five. I thought maybe it was a three originally. I'd say you just do nine. There it is. Oh, something's happening. Suda fifty one Suda fifty one appears and says, "Thank you for buying my game." <laughs> Stairs came down over the ceiling. There we go. See, that's what I, I'm telling you. He's at the suit of 51. He's at the top there. <laughs> he, he gives you an award for for making it, it through the game. I'm with I'm with Tetsu. I'm with uh, you know the, those guys. Tetsu or the hell's name is. There's the steps. Don't get tense, Kamui. He's calling me Kamui. I, I can barely call you Big Dick. Just relax. Well, you found out you don't have... I don't, I, let, me, let me tell you. All right, sure. Let me tell you. Hey, no, Stu, let me tell Stop you Stop being the ass is. I, I found out you don't have a big dick. How'd so you find that out? Scabby. How'd you find that out? I have my sources, my There's friend. There's a guy sitting there. What is... What? Somebody's going conniption fit in a wheelchair. A, a wheelchair like a swivel chair. Oh, my God. That's too few one. Is, it is. Oh my god. Is, is it? I was just joking. What the flying fuck is going on? He's looking at a little bit of bikinis. 
I am done. I am fucking. <laughs> is that him? I'm unplugging. Yes, I am unplugging <laughs> my mic and I am fucking leaving. But you can't what? leave. What happened? <laughs> I know. I need a second to process that stupidity. <laughs> that, that was him, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Why? Go ahead, keep I mean, I was making a fucking joke. Keep reading. I was making a goddamn joke. Keep reading. And then they put fucking Suda 51 in the chair swiveling around. Oh my fucking god. Keep reading. Oh, yeah, hold on. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> oh, this game just gets worse and worse every fucking minute. Maybe this will be a great <sighs> reveal that's going to change the whole game. Oh, it just yeah, seems like they maybe, just pulled they just pulled him back in. <laughs> Why did he look like a cartoon character? Yeah, that's a good question too. Cheap, <laughs> cheap CGI from like the freaking eighties, nineties. Actually, he's probably the only CGI character in the game. Remember, this game came out in nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, we they rendered him like a fucking blow, blow up balloon. Go ahead, read. We finally, we, I, shh, <laughs> we finally made it here after twenty years. Yeah, it seems that way. Damn. <laughs> 20 years playing this fucking game. Only to find fucking yeah, there you swivel go. chair head. Now just keep calling you big dick. There you go, that's better. No matter whether you do or don't become Gamma Wee. I won't become him. It's up to you. Thank you. Now go up to Suda51 and give him a good fucking boot up the ass. <laughs> This fucking guy. Look at that guy. Swiveling. So I'll fucking kill him. There we go. No more fucking Shooter 51 games, my friend. So, <laughs> oh my god. This is so... It's so it. He just... It's going... <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on. He's Everybody, the, around. the Gamer's Grotto has lost this it is, completely. You know, hold on. No, no. You know what? This is how he makes his game. This is why all his games are fucking weird. He just swivels around in a chair and makes everybody else do all the fucking work. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The Gears Grotto is completely lost it, folks. Contribute money to the Gears Grotto Health Fund. We're going to open, be so, up, opening up soon on, uh, what's it called? Uh, GoFundMe. Yeah. So what do you do? If you kill him, you can release yourself from this guard. Oh, fucking kill him, please. Oh, you don't need any more games. Will you live by killing your past? Or will you die clinging to your past? Can you keep moving forward? Do you make your choice? Can you live after facing your true self? Just kill him, Stu. Please. I can't do anything. Just decide here and now, big boy. I have a gun. You were born with a set of balls. <laughs> so keep living like a me something. Hey, Jim, how's it going? <laughs> Just I can't leave facing my true self now. We're about to assassinate two to fifty one, thank God. <laughs> if we can, I don't know. Unfortunately unfortunately it doesn't mean that a sequel wasn't released. <laughs> Pull the trigger on the devil's gun. Destroy the darkness. Seize the light. Oh thank God. I never chose. Oh well that's fine. Oh more video. But now it's like you know he's like in Garden of Eden Paradise. Should have killed Suda Fifty One apparently. Yeah, Paradise has been unleashed now that Suda Fifty One has been killed. Sounds about right. Oh my God, I mean, he shot me, and I'm looking at Paradise. Uh, is Same that, guy. Is, yeah. uh, Same it's guy. finished. Anything and everything. I just want to go the fuck home. Yeah, me too. Just a little longer, Akemi. Was it Kemi? I don't know. Well, I haven't heard that music in a while. Go up to where? Oh god, it's a freaking batting cage again. I don't know. I'm still shocked that my joke saying that Suda 51 is up those stairs happened to be a reality. I don't understand this. I mean, like, yeah, we don't. I, you don't understand this? I don't, I don't think understand this. The world understood this. I don't shit. think Suda 51 understands this either. I, I, 
I swear that Suda51 is making games from a, a, a padded room somewhere. Who's that? I think that's the same guy you just that you were just were as. Is it? I think, but I'm not sure. And I think the guy on the left is 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 Trump, but I I don't really know what he know anymore. Yeah, I think so. That was a close. That was a close one. What happened to Stu? He lost his mind. No. Was there someone by that name? I forget. What, did you kill me? Looks like the mystery was solved. Yes, Scabo. Yes, Scabo, he never existed. Nope. He's alive. Inside, Stu? It's not as romantic as you're making it out to be. Yeah, um, Kamui is, is like busily like having his way with me. He's inside me. He's so basically, Suda Fifty One is inside you. No, that's just we killed him. I hope. I, I, don't, I don't know. This is starting to get worse and worse. It's just like turning to <laughs> X-rated already. Yeah, I know. Jim Letters like yeah, Stu says he's inside me. I know. I know. <laughs> Yes, just like the rumor said. So Stu is the format cowboy. I don't know about that shit. But maybe this cowboy Hara is a total sum of everyone else's existence. Since so many others were sacrificed for him, there were probably many more who were never rewarded. Maybe. He inherited cavalry so that the memories of his youth wouldn't be forgotten. What do you think? Dead you? There is such a thing as knowing too much. Okay. You're a nice guy. Alright? I know. Yeah. I understand. There. Satisfied. Jim, this is like one of the worst games I, I've ever seen. And, and you're right to put game in quotes. I mean, like, it, it just makes no sense at all. There were a couple it, of bright it's, spots. It, it's not a game. It's, there's no way this is a game. It's a graphic novel, of anything. It's it's one of those... Um, visual yeah. novels. Visual no Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Isn't that right, Stu? Here. Yeah, I'm, I'm right here. I'm, I'm watching you guys from across the street. Shoot them both. If you're watching from across. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> <laughs> <laughs> and, and <laughs> look at still the same guy. Who's that? I think it's still the same guy. Do you make Is any actual was... choices that affect the narrative or outcome? Jim says. No. So it's not really a visual novel, even to your point. There are some adventure parts to it, but very, very minimal. Yes. You press up and down and left and no, right. <laughs> you got to figure out what to do in some cases. There's some puzzles to solve. Go ahead. I've been thinking. What if you'd been in a terrible environment? There were some puzzles, Jim. Or if there had been some problem with your upbringing. Then it really wouldn't be your fault completely. I mean, I'm in no position to talk. But I've been there are a lot of crimes, guilt and flaws. And these are things you can just ease, just erase away. Definitely not one's shadows. Erasing one's memory is cheating, of course. They say people are equal, right? That means we all have the same times. And there are shadows that you can't just erase away. <laughs> Jim says, I feel my IQ dropping by the second later. Thanks for dropping in, Jim. Yeah. There are footprints to the shadows written in ink. For me and for you. It doesn't matter as your name is. Gusabi. Stu. 
You're, like, some reason you're like, you cut out there, but it's okay. Or can we? There's a spirit that resides in all of us. And within that spirit is a light of possibility. Possibly this game might be over, please. There is no distinction there. <sighs> if it takes some time, the light is there. Imagine if I like, banged it hard and I break the laptop right now and like and we lose like the same game somehow. You probably like, I mean, kill me. That sounds like a better ending to this game <laughs> than whatever C fifty one probably wrote. <laughs> there were even lights with shortcuts. But the light will never change. The light and shadow exist in harmony. And that's why it's up to you. Facing the shadows. <coughs> Facing the light. Don't get it twisted. I'm not talking about good and evil. I'm talking about a light that can be grasped by anyone. A light that brings along the shadows. Kill the shadow. And give birth to the light. Find the light within your spirit. Seize that fucking light, Stu. Wow, motivational speech for the <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're here, not just doing the voices, because, like, I think if you weren't on the thing talking, I would just be staring at the screen like a fool the whole time. Oh, thank God. That's the end of the chapter. Tamura is coming soon? Oh, there's another chapter. I didn't say film yet. Come on. Yeah, I can't go without the film. Film window. Well, that was certainly... Uh, 83%. Yes. Oh, my fuck. <laughs> I figured it would have ended after we killed Suda51. So now somebody else is making his game. So do we have to kill his wife next? This case exclamation point... Before that, we have to actually do report number five, which we did do. But not today. All he says, let's go all night, fellas. What a cliffhanger. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's been almost, it's been an hour and 45 minutes, and I was already falling asleep before, so I feel like trying to go longer is probably not the best, best idea. How you doing, Gamers Grotto? How am I? I'm fine. You're, you'll find it go all day? I, no, I didn't say that. I'm fine, I'm fine right now. <laughs> what time do you usually go to bed on Saturday night? Uh, what time do I usually go to bed in general? Um, I'm I'm a late guy. I'm a late nighter. Yeah, um, me too usually. It last week it, I've been so it de tired. It depends. Like, lately, <sighs> um, I've been... I've been uh, <sighs> I mean, like, l last night we did the the podcast on Olaf's channel and it, it lasted for about six hours. So, yeah. Abby Sunrise says, ha ha, all nighter engage. Yeah, I think we gotta, we gotta break this up. It's like, there, there's too many, <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like you're eating something that's like really dense, like, you know, like something that's like me, like you take a steak and you burn it. It's like really hard and not that tastes that good. And you're like trying to cut it like this. Like, and then you're like putting in ketchup so it's not that bad. And you're like chewing it. It's like, uh, uh, you can't like eat the whole thing in one shot. You got to like break it up, I think. Always says, yeah, it just drags too much. <laughs> so anyway, I think that's it for tonight. Next time we'll pick up with, uh, with report number five. And then we still have case number excitement. So thanks everyone. Well, I do want to do want to continue streaming this like tomorrow or something. Um, maybe. Do you? I, it depends. Oh, well, I'll I'll, I'll 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 talk to you about it tomorrow. I'll, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. But probably. I mean, All right. Well, I'm down with it. In the meantime, thanks always asleep to Miami Sunrise, to Jim Leonard, to uh, anybody else who may have been lurking here. We don't know about. There are definitely a few people along the way. 
And thank you very much to the Gamers Grotto for doing all the, the, the um, I'll say amazing voices. But thanks to the Gamers Grotto for doing all the voices. And except for the, the women, which I did, which are, which, are, which are really bad. Now seriously, make sure you subscribe to the Gamers Grotto's channel. If you're watching this after the fact, I mean, I'm really impressed, by the way. But if, you're, if you are watching this after the fact, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment. But also make sure you subscribe to the Gamers Grotto's channel. Because he does a lot of games that are like this, but better. Things like, um, like things by Quantic Dream and whatnot. Um, yeah, well, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Um, like he likes story games. He likes. I also did. Uh, I also did. Uh, just I know some of you brought it up in Stu's channel, but I also recently played. Uh, did a complete playthrough of Shredder's Revenge, the newest Ninja Turtles game. Yep, he likes lots of stuff, but I think you like you specifically like story games. At least recently, this is an yeah. example of a bad story game. And for some good story <laughs> games, you can check out the Gamers Grotto's channel. So, anyway, thanks very much, everybody. Have a good night, and peace out. Take care, everybody.